why does our main character look like Naruto, bro? Oh, what's up guys this is Atrix here and today in this video we'll be taking a look at the return of Citra Energy Edition. As you may remember back in early 2022 we had a brand new project a 3D simulator fork known as Citra Energy Edition which was basically a combination of Citra MMJ as well as official Citra Android. Unique features of those two emulators were merged together and that is known as Citra Energy Edition. Now, I don't know if you guys know this but unfortunately this project was stopped temporarily but now it's back again with lot of bug fixes change log which we'll be taking a look at in today's video and we'll be testing some heavy games as well first of all citra enhanced beta 2.2.0 is the latest build which was released two days ago by gamer 64 he's the developer of citra enhanced edition improved performance for some games fixed crash fixed gas mode being null fixed net play not shutting down custom texture reworks bug fixes and better implementation in this brand new update you can scroll down and check out that uh, he has implemented lot of features such as AMOLED dark theme, removed some useless options, implemented some Citra team updates. As you know, official Citra Android updates can be only gotten now from their uh, official website. He has also implemented D-pad sliding, etc. Now, this is up to you guys. So, what I want you guys to do is just let me know in the comment section down below which version of Citra emulator do you use. I get many comments still telling me that I need to update Citra by first edition, but I don't think it will be happening. Uh, but if you guys use Citra by Frost Edition, then comment down below. So as you can see, we have successfully installed the Citra Enhanced Edition now. You don't need to uninstall official Citra if you have that already installed because Citra Enhanced comes with a different package name. If you have Citra MMJ Android, you may need to uninstall it or else you might get app not installed issue while installing the Citra Enhanced Edition. Then quickly start setting up the Citra Enhanced Edition. So first time when we open this game, it will give you a disclaimer. Click on OK and then click on Allow. It will ask you to choose a folder where you have stored your Nintendo 3DS ROMs. Just go ahead and click on OK. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at all the features which Citra Enhanced Edition offers. So if you click on these three lines, you will see there is an option to install CIA. So if you have an, a game file in CIA, just go ahead and click on Install CIA. Select that game file and it will automatically load the game into the emulator. Afterwards, there is also an updater which lets you directly update uh, Citra Enhanced Edition from the app itself, which is pretty cool. Let's open settings, go to general, emulated CPU clock speed, it goes all the way up to 400% which is pretty cool. In stock Citra emulator, it will only go up to 200%. I have disabled the enable speed limit option, okay. Let's go back. In the setting of interface, you can change the theme of Citra Enhanced Edition to dark or light theme. I'll select light theme. Let's go back. Gamepad, uh, you can map your gamepads. Graphics, let's take a look at this. New 3DS mode, enable this. Internal resolution, uh, 4x, alright. Show FPS has been enabled. OSD screen, I don't know what this means, so we'll keep it at default. Enable CPU usage limit. Okay, this is an interesting option, guys. Just take a look at this. Uh, when enabled, emulation CPU usage will be limited to smaller, smaller size, which means that uh, if you are doing some kind of multitasking, you can enable the CPU usage limit. For example, if you are exporting a video, yeah it might help but i don't think it's very practical but anyways a synchronous gpu has been enabled accurate shader multiplication will fix texture will fix texture issues but performance will be reduced post processing effect we can turn it to open gl i'll disable uh, accurate shader other than that there is nothing else to do in graphics uh, you can also dump textures but that's up to you let's go ahead and go to audio audio stretching has been disabled audio input you can turn it to none to get few more fps while emulating the game all right now let's see if citra enhanced edition lets us add cheats yep it is possible guys you can add cheat codes in citra enhanced edition uh, it's pretty feature packed it has all the features which you'll ever need record audio don't allow okay building shaders nice uh, let's wait microphone access okay no problem 100 plus fps let me just go ahead and click back and yeah we have additional settings right here and it's showing us ram usage i guess let's go to setting let me zoom here we can adjust the scale and also opacity of the buttons uh 50 percent is pretty nice layout let's select large layout now it's lagging for some reason right here it's very jittery show fps is enabled fmv hack you can enable it but you can see that there is a slight lag even though the game itself is not lagging but uh, yeah anyways skip slow draw okay so i just exited out of settings and let's click on a 
For some reason guys, I am not joking, uh, the game is very jittery. I don't know what's happening, literally 3 to 5 FPS. Okay, the FPS is back up, let me just go ahead and mute uh, the audio. Yeah, we are getting uh, around 60 FPS, uh, which is uh, as expected, but the lag at the beginning was very confusing. Why, why does our main character look like Naruto, bro? <laughs> Anyways, it's up to you guys. If you have an device with Mali GPU and if Citra Enhanced Edition works the best for you, then yeah, you should definitely consider trying it out. Other than that, as you know, uh, Citra Android gets regularly updated on their website and we are getting around 30 FPS. I guess it's due to my settings, so let me just go ahead and try disabling all the settings which I enabled. Uh, skip slow draw, skip CPU access, skip texture distance, okay. Let's see if our FPS increases after disabling all these settings. Oh shit! <laughs> our FPS did increase guys. That also by a lot. So yeah, if you want to get more FPS, don't enable those F uh, settings. Let's go down. Okay, it's working perfectly fine. It's stable. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye. See you guys tomorrow.